In this video, we will talk about Telnet. Telnet stands for Teletype Network and was already developed in 1969 in the year of the moon landing. It is a protocol on layer 5 of the OC model and uses TCP as the transport protocol. The default port for Telnet is 23. This protocol enables bidirectional communication between a client and a server. Telnet is designed as a command line program to emulate a terminal that can be used to remotely connect to a server. That means it works purely text-based without a graphical user interface. With Telnet you can administer servers, configure network devices like routers, switches, etc., start programs remotely and create, edit and delete files. In addition, Tenet can also be used to check whether certain ports are open on a server, a task that is normally implemented by network scanners such as Nmap. To do this, simply enter the command telnet followed by the IP address of the server and separated by a space the port number. If the port is open on the target system, the result looks like this. But if the port is not open, then you often get this message as an answer. Let's take a detailed look at how Telnet works. The so-called terminal driver receives the user's commands and sends them to the Telnet client. The client translates them into a standardized format which is understood by different systems. This format is also called universal language. The network virtual driver, NVT for short, describes the standard that both communication partners should follow. The information processed and sent by the user in this way is now passed to the Telnet server at the destination, which translates the user's input from the universal language into a language that the destination system understands. The Telnet server somehow is the counterpart of the Telnet client. The result is passed to the pseudo-terminal driver, which then executes the commands. What are the advantages of Telnet? Since only text commands are used, Telnet is very fast. You can communicate remotely with a computer or server in a simple way, even bidirectional. That means in both directions. Telnet is independent of the operating system and can be used on Windows, macOS or Linux. And what are the disadvantages of Telnet? Since Telnet was developed in the year when it was first ever possible to send a message over the network, no great thought was given to topics such as encryption because at that time it was not yet foreseeable to which large circle of people this technology would later be accessible. The commands sent via Telnet are therefore available in plain text. Telnet should therefore no longer be used for communication via the internet because information such as usernames and passwords can be tapped. However, older systems are sometimes dependent on Telnet and do not support secure alternatives such as SSH. In addition, it is a very old protocol that has numerous security vulnerabilities. You should use SSH instead.